is Nick from FitStep.com, PowerfulTrainingSecrets.com. Got a couple more things you can do to uh, freak out your neighbors with a water jug. Um, this is basically carrying a water jug. Uh, I just got back from doing this, uh, going up and down my street out in front, carrying a water jug in various ways, and uh, for part of it, carrying a couple of them. And uh, let me tell you, you get to know your neighbors fast by doing that. Some of them will offer you a lift. But uh, anyways, you've seen the um, two uh, water jug farmers walk. I did these up and down the stairs in my basement. That works really good. I did one water jug as well, and that really hits the side abs extremely well. So the other variations I'm going to show you, uh, one is like a bear hug carry of your water jug. And uh, the easiest way I found to get that into position, get it up by your leg, and boom, you're good to go. You just grip it right underneath the front ends, and there you go. You just walk. I was doing about 100 meters, and then uh, setting it down, and then turning around and coming back another 100 meters. I did that a few times. But uh, this is about 60 pounds, and it is sloshing around the entire time. To set it down, you can uh, just do that. Very simple, very easy. The other variation that I was doing was a shoulder water jug carry, and let me tell you, this was pumping up my shoulders like crazy. Not just the traps for supporting, but also the meat of the shoulder muscle, just because it's basically holding that position, which is like the bottom of a shoulder press, as the uh, jug is sloshing around with water. And uh, holding that position um, for shoulders, really powerful training technique. So, grab it here, <laughs> kick it up, and then just straight up on your shoulder like that. You can see, pulling on the top edge, I've got my head braced against it, I've got it fully resting, and I'm leaning to keep it over my center of balance. And then uh, to get it back down, right back down. Now, you can go straight to the other shoulder, or you can set it down and uh, you know continue as it doing like interval training. So, very simple and very easy to get into position just like so. And, uh, just from having done a workout with it already, my shoulders are already burning, even just holding it for a few seconds. So, this is a really good technique. All you need is like an $8 water jug that you get at the camping store or something, and uh, really effective training. And you will freak out your neighbors, I promise you that. Got a few more variations of carrying heavy stuff around for you here. Uh, I've got my 60 pound water jug, and I've got my 70 pound sandbag. And uh, instead of just carrying one or the other, I'm actually going to double up and carry both. So what I'm going to do is sling this sandbag on my shoulder and then hold the other uh, jug in my hand. Now what I was doing outside just a few minutes ago was walking up and down the street with that on the shoulder and carrying that and then switching around and doing the other shoulder and carrying that. I'll show you what it looks like here. Basically, sling that on one shoulder, bend down and carry that, and then you just start walking. It's a great way to uh, build a lot of core strength. This one works the shoulder as well. And uh, of course, when you're doing the farmer's walk on this side, that's working the grip. So, you just set that down. Now on the way back, you just switch it around so that you're carrying it on this shoulder and pulling it like so. And then again, you're walking up and down the street like that. So. That's one option. The next thing I did, did a more uh, traditional kind of farmer's walk, carrying a water jug and the sandbag very easily, just like so. Different kind of resistances. One's a little bit heavier than the other. This one's sloshing. This one's a little bit harder to carry. So it allows you to kind of uh, get a little more variety with that kind of carrying movement. So. Next, we had the, uh, the shoulder carry uh, I showed you, but uh, what I was also doing was a shoulder carry walking lunge. So I was actually holding it like this and doing this up and down the street and getting lots of strange looks, but not carrying one bit. So, I would do that as far as I could on one shoulder, set it down, take a brief rest, throw it on the other shoulder, do as many more uh, steps as I could, and kind of back and forth for a set distance. And then uh, the hardest part is when you turn around and realize you have to bring the, the water jug back. And uh, it's actually twice as hard the second time when you're coming back. 
So not to scare you, but it just is. Next, we have the upper chest carry of the water jug up here instead of down here. Makes it a bit harder to do and uh, puts more stress on the uh, breathing muscles while you're doing it. The uh, other thing I was doing with the sandbag, and I was carrying a lot of stuff around out there. No kidding. Right across the shoulders, walking up and down the street like this. It's like holding it in a front squat kind of position. And then uh, I did a few reps, carrying it in a zercher kind of cradle position. Um, just to hit the biceps a little bit like that too. And then I finished walking up and down the street, just carrying with one arm. And uh, that really hits the uh, opposing side abdominal wall to stabilize the load. And, uh, switching back and forth, going that way uh, on the left hand and coming back on the other hand. And what I was actually doing is rather than setting the jug down, I would actually do this and keep it up off the ground the whole time going there and back. Just for a bit more challenge. And uh, that's pretty much all the variations I came up with today. Uh, plenty to keep you busy there, and it is pretty amazing what you can do with simple equipment, just like a water jug and a bag of sand. And uh, believe me, I was getting a great cardio workout from this, and I can really feel it building upper back, traps, arms, shoulders, the whole deal. So definitely worth trying if you need any work in those areas and you want to build your cardio capacity at the same time.